break up the monotony of winter with a celebration called Winterlude. Here in the art store shop windows of Wallach's, you can see some photos of past year's Winterlude activities, including skating on the canal. And right here you can see the Winterlude mascots called the Ice Hogs. They're called the Ice Hogs for some reason, even though they bear no resemblance to hogs. They look more like bears to me. Winterlude began in Ottawa in 1979 and usually consists of ice slides that they make up in uh, Jacques Cartier Park. You can go tubing down them or slide down them without a tube. Skating on the canal, canal bed racing, snow and ice sculptures and other outdoor winter activities. This year, however, because of the pandemic, celebrations are limited to online activities like concerts over Zoom, ice carving competitions that you can vote on online, and activities and stories for kids online. This sculpture in front of the courthouse is called Due Process by artist Bruce Garner, who also did the uh, famous bear, that fishing bear that's on uh, Spark Street in Ottawa. This structure that we're about to walk through is called the Canadian Tribute to Human Rights.
This snow-covered piece is one of the new pieces of public art on Elgin Street, part of a revitalization of Elgin. It's by artist Francis Montelod, and he was exploring themes of body language and social interaction. And there's a number of those pieces along Elgin Street, and I'll show you more of those. Here's another one of those new pieces by Francis Montelot. The intention, says a description provided by the city, is to capture snapshots of a laugh, a grimace, or any of the many expressions of people who live, work, or play around the Elgin Street community. This next new piece I find really interesting because it has a surprising feature when you go around the back side of it. It reminds me of the the faces that you see on the haunted ride uh, the haunted mansion ride at uh, Walt Disney World. They have these uh, concave faces and uh, because of the concave face around the back side you'll see here soon um, the angles that it meets your eye create an illusion that it's an actual three uh, convex um, face three-dimensional and it's uh, following because of the angles that it meets your eye it creates an illusion that they're the faces are following you Here's another of the new sculptures on Elgin and Waverly. The artist said, I'm interested in social interactions. I'm interested in what our body can show without thinking and speaking through the way you stand, through the expressions we make and how we present ourselves. He wants his work to be more real and closer, closer to the community. I'm trying to democratize the portrait.
Here's a sculpture called The Listening Tree that was created by Mixed Metaphors. Mixed Metaphors is a duo of artists comprised of Carleton University professor Jesse Stewart, who you can see in uh, s some of my other videos. I'll put a link in the corner here. And architecture graduate Matt Edwards.